Hello again, folks. Today we're going to talk about quantifiers. Quantifiers are for, to express quantity, how many, how much, okay? Okay, we have five quantifiers up here, much, many, a lot of, a little, and a few. I'm going to teach you how to use them correctly, okay? Great. First example right here, there isn't much time. There isn't much time, okay? Much is for something that you can't count, uncountable, okay? Much is for uncountable stuff. Uncountable, okay? Right here, okay. Can you count time? Yeah. But if you said hours, that would be countable, right? You could say there aren't many hours, okay? But you can't say they, there aren't many time because many is for countable things, okay? Next one. Um, there are many books on the table. As you can see right here, books. Is it countable? Can you count books? Books? You can count them, right? If you said um, words, there are many words, you can count them as well, right? But if you talk about, for example, sand, there are many sand. No, right? Because you don't know the quantity, the exact quantity. You can't split them into, into units. That means they are not countable, okay? There are many books. These are countable. There isn't much time. Time is uncountable. You could say there isn't much sand. You could say there isn't much water. Okay, and that would be uncountable. But if you said um, bottles of water bottles, they would be countable, right? You could say there are many water bottles. Okay, they're countable now. The water is countable now because you split it into units, into bottles, okay? Uncountable water, countable water bottles, okay? Because what you count are the units, okay? Next one. There are a lot of mistakes there. There are a lot of mistakes there. A lot of is for countable and uncountable nouns, okay? You can say there are a lot of water bottles or there are a lot of water. No, right? There is a lot of water. When something is uncountable, you're going to say there is, there is a lot of water. Okay? There is a lot of water. It's for countable and uncountable. Okay? So I'm just going to write up here both. Both. Countable and uncountable. Okay, next one. There is a little milk in the glass. A little is for un uncountable. We're talking about milk. We're not talking about milk cartons. We're not talking about milk gallons. We're not putting them into units. So, right here, we're talking about an uncountable noun, okay? There is a little milk in the glass. Or you could also say, you can't say there are a little cartons of milk. No, no, no. Always for uncountable stuff, okay? Uncountable. Uncountable nouns, okay? The next one says, there are a few, a few markers in the box. Do you think markers are countable or uncountable? If I take three right here, 
You can see there are units, right? You can separate them. So you can say there are three markers here. There are three markers here. So you can say there are a few markers in the box. They're, they are countable, guys, people, okay? So these are for countable nouns. Countable nouns, okay? You can say there are a few water in the ocean or there is a few water in the, in the ocean. There is a little water in the ocean. Not a few because few for countable nouns. You can't count water, remember? You can't count water, but you can't count bottles of water or water bottles. You can't count um, sand, but maybe if they're in boxes, you can't count sand boxes. Okay, countable and uncountable. Remember, much for uncountable. Many, countable. A lot of, both. This is the only one. Um, a little, uncountable, and a few, countable. Oops, I missed the U right here, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Next, we're gonna go into some exercises so you can get it like a little bit clearly. We're gonna make a little bit of brainstorming, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Okay, folks, it's practice time. You're gonna help me fill in the blanks with the correct quantifier. Much, many, a lot of, a little, a few, okay? The first one says, there is blank sand in the beach. Which one are we gonna use there? There is many sand in the beach? No, right? Many is for countable. I'm just saying sand. I'm not saying sand boxes or something like that or sand clocks. No. So it's uncountable. Which one are you going to use? There is much sand in the beach. You could do that too, but it doesn't sound like quite good. So we're going to use there's a lot of sand in the beach. Remember, a lot of you can use it for countable and uncountable nouns, okay? A lot of. There's a lot of sand in the beach. The next one says, there is blank sugar in this coffee. Which one are we going to use? Is sugar countable or uncountable? Uncountable, right? You could say there is a little sugar, not a few because few is for countable nouns, okay? There is a little sugar in this coffee or there's little sugar in this coffee or you could um, use much or a lot of sugar in this coffee, okay? But we're gonna use little. There's little. There's little sugar in this coffee. Instead of a little, you can say little too, okay? Next one says, there are blank mistakes in your homework. Do you think mis a mistake is a countable or uncountable noun? It's countable, right? So we can use many or a few, or maybe a lot of, right? Because th this is for both. So we're going to use a few. There are a few mistakes in your homework, okay? Because it's countable. Next one. There isn't blank salt in this sauce. There isn't blank sauce. I mean, blank salt in this sauce. There isn't much, maybe, because we're talking about salt. Not like salt shakers, because that wouldn't make them countable, right? You can't count salt itself, you know? So, we're going to write, write down there, there isn't much salt in this sauce. If we were talking about um, salt shakers, we would say there aren't many, right? Okay? Check this out, is, right? This is also indicating that it's an uncountable noun, okay? Next one. There are blank viewers watching YouTube videos. 
Which one do you think we're going to use? The last one, right? There are many, many viewers watching YouTube videos. Many for countable nouns, okay? Okay, next I'm going to um, leave you guys some homework so you guys can do it in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to do it, okay? Because you need practice and you, you, know, and you also need to get feedback from other viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, so here's your homework. You're going to write a sentence, remember, in the comment section below this video, using quantifiers. Here's an example. There's a lot of, this is a quantifier, sugar in my coffee. Okay? If you have any suggestions for your next video, any questions, whatever, please also type them in the comment section below this video. Thank you for watching it. Hey, what are you doing? I just finished the class. Um, oh my God. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> hey, well, you're watching anyways, so I might as well give you a fun English fact. Did you know that the most commonly taught foreign language in the world is English? Okay, so visit our website, okay? It's www.eslenglishacademy.com. That's eslenglishacademy.com. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right.